Vážení posluchači, vážení realitní makléři, ve spolupráci s Remax Academy jsme pro vás připravili demo verzi jednoho z nejlepších realitních školení na trhu Business by Design Tom Ferry. Vychutejte si to. Jdem na to. Welcome back to session six of Business by Design. Today, we're going to talk about how you can market yourself, market your business, and ultimately market your listings. By now, you've probably watched a few of my Tom Ferry shows on YouTube, and perhaps you visited my website, tomferry.com. I'm gonna strongly recommend you do so again, not just to see my website, Instead, I want you to begin to experience the same marketing process through my company that ultimately I want you to implement. So I'm going to ask you to go there today and sign up for The Tom Ferry Show or any one of our free solutions so you can naturally and automatically begin to experience exactly what I want you to do. Now, think about what I just said. I'm actually going to teach you how I've marketed myself to become the number one business coach and trainer in real estate. And by you following the same steps, you will become one of the most recognizable agents in your city and perhaps your country. Sound good? I think it should. So it starts with a mindset. The first thing is we use a multi-channel marketing strategy, touching our clients and prospects through multiple platforms throughout the week, driving them back to our website. Now, if you don't have a website, your company has access to them for you, and they will have several local vendors and recommendations, so you can get it done. If you're looking for something really easy and free, I like about.me. That's www.about.me. As a simple place that you could build a website for yourself today in just a few minutes. This site will allow you to link up all of your social media sites like Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat placing your email there for people to connect with you, as well as a phone number. So the mindset, the mindset is a multi-channel marketing approach, meaning we're going to take one piece of content throughout the week, one thing that you're doing in your business, perhaps like a new listing or a recent sale, and I'm going to have you send that piece of content through a variety of marketing channels with the goal to create maximum exposure for you, your business, and your listings. So let's start by looking at each of the channels that we're going to be using. Number one, and by far the easiest, is email marketing. The direct response Marketing Association claims that email is still by far the best form of free marketing exposure and it's the easiest thing for you to do. Stop for a second and think about how many email addresses you currently have and ask yourself, do I have a plan for my email marketing or am I just randomly sending out email? Remember, this program is called Business by Design. So we want to design a powerful email strategy and we'll finish this session with an exact monthly plan of what you need to do. Back on email. In order to do effective email marketing, three things will help you make it better. Number one, you want to use an email service provider an email service provider that allows you to track and measure your email results. For example, what open rate percentage do you have? 
Are you aware that today, when a person sends out 100 emails, the average open rate where the person actually grabs their phone or on their desktop and opens up your email is less than 19%. Less than 19%. So imagine if you're sending out 100 emails and you're scratching your head wondering, why am I not getting more responses? The first thing is to acknowledge that perhaps you don't know your open rates and if your open rates are average, only 19 of the 100 people actually opened it up and read your message. So the first step is we want to have an email service provider that allows us to see open rates and track what we call click-throughs, where they actually open the email and you know that number and you know who open the email, as well as did they click on that link and go back to your website or take the action that you were asking them to take. If you just do this one thing, your email marketing, your branding, and your marketing of yourself and your listings will go through the roof. Now, in addition, with your ESP, with your email service provider, if it allows you to auto-populate the prospect's name, that is a terrific bonus for you. We would call that me-mail versus just email. Think about it. If you get an email that has your name in it, Dear John, Dear Jose, Dear Martha, it's far better than just hey, or what we might refer to as spam email. So when you're picking your email service provider, you want to ask some questions. There are several free and there are a few very inexpensive email service providers. You want to ask questions like, does it track open rates? Will it give me information about how many people clicked and what they clicked on? And in a perfect world, would allow me to auto-populate their name to make it more personal. What I recommend you do is, throughout the next few days, you want to go on Google and you want to look around at email service providers and pick the one that ultimately feels right to you and then implement it. The second thing, when it comes to great email, when you write your email, you want to make sure that you actually look at the email before you hit send on multiple devices. Think about what I just said there. We know that today, half of the traffic of social sites and everything on the internet, including communication like email and text, is happening on a mobile device, and the other half is happening on a desktop. So what do we want to do before we send that email? We want to look at it on a desktop, on a laptop, maybe on an iPad, maybe on an iPhone, as well as an Android or Google device. Why? Because there's a pretty good chance they're going to look differently on each one of those devices and you want to make sure that before you hit send, you know it looks good on every possible device that someone is going to experience it. Number three, when you email people, it's important that you have a clear outcome, a result that you want to have happen by sending out that email. Now, Ultimately, it comes down to what do you want them to do? The action that you want them to take. And you ask them during the email to do just that. For example, your email might say, take a look at my new listing, because you're wanting them to click and take a look at photos of that property as an example. Or your email might be about, read my free report on the seven mistakes to avoid when selling a home. And again, with an obvious link for them to click and read that information. I know this may sound basic, yet too often we write long emails without a clear purpose and no obvious links or multiple links for someone to get access to what it is you want to market or promote. And then we wonder why we don't get the results we desire from email. So again,
I want you to sign up on my website and you'll see exactly how we do what we do that's working tremendously well in our business to grow our brand and market ourselves. And I want you to do something that we've all heard about. We call it R&D. Ahoj a díky, že jsi to doposlouchal až sem. Ve spolupráci s Remax Academy pro tebe máme připravený stovky vzdělávacích materiálů, díky kterým budeš nejlepší na trhu, utečeš konkurenci, budeš vydělávat násobně víc jak makléři z jiných sítí, takže pokud chceš být ten nejlepší, poslání jasné, přidej se k nám, přidej se k Remaxu, přidej, přidej se k Deluxu. Deluxu. Čau.